Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this vest for boys between one and two years old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger from six months up to five years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. Also remember that my channel is bilingual. Always, always, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Style Craft Special Double Knit. This is in the color Aster. Now, if you're in the US, you can use any number three yarn. Now, to begin, I have 88 chains. This chain here is measuring about 18 inches, which is about 46 centimeters. Now, if you're off by maybe half an inch or a couple centimeters, it's okay, just continue with the 88 chains. Now, to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to join to the first chain. So we're going to do this so that our chain is not twisted. Now insert your hook into the first chain, this one here, and then join with a slip stitch. Now chain one and actually chain two. These two chains never count as a stitch. Now yarn over and insert your hook again into the last chain and through the first chain here and make a double crochet. Now work one double crochet for each one of the remaining chains. So into this next chain, make a double crochet, double crochet into the next and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. And at the end of this row, I'm going to have 88 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did double crochets and I have a total of 88 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two, the two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this row, we're going to alternate between a front post and a back post double crochet. So beginning into this first double crochet, make a front post double crochet back post, double crochet into the next, front post, double crochet into the next, and back post, double crochet into the next. This is all I'm going to do for this second row. A front post, double crochet, and a back post, double crochet. Continue like this for this second row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now to finish this row, we're just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third and fourth row, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to chain two and then work a front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet, front post double crochet and back post double crochet and so on. We're going to do this for this third row and then for the fourth row, the same thing. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this fourth row. Now for the first row, we're going to start counting rows. So we're going to start using our pattern. Chain three and into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch, make two double crochets. Now skip one, two, and into the third, make three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, and into the third, again, three double crochets. Skip one, two, and into the third, three double crochets. This is how I'm going to continue for this first row. 
So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row now. Up to here I have 29 fans and I have three stitches here. What I'm going to do here, I need to make one more fan. So I'm going to skip one and, to, and into the next I'm going to make three double crochets. Now to finish, pinch the third chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row with a total of 30 fans. Now from here on, we're going to have to turn for every row. This stitch you can easily make uh, where you work it in the round, but I'm not going to do that because once we come to the uh, separation of the front and the back panel, we're going to have to work this stitch in rows. So it's going to have a different texture once we do that. So I'm going to turn for every row starting here. So to do this, we're going to turn. Now we're going to chain three and we're going to go down to the row below and into this stitch that we left in between the two fans, I'm going to make a double crochet. Then right next to it, to the side, I'm going to make another double crochet. Again, jump to the next space between the fans. So right here, make a double crochet, go down to the row below and make a double crochet into that stitch that we left and then to the side, a double crochet. Now, these next ones, we have two stitches. These two were the last two that we did. We only had one stitch in between, but here we have two stitches. So you're going to have to be consistent. You're either going to the first or into the second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the first. So make your first double crochet, then go to the row below and into that first double crochet, make another double crochet, and then right to the side, another double crochet. So double crochet, go down to the row below and into the first double crochet, make a double crochet and right next to it here, make a double crochet. And that's all we're going to do. Go down to the row below, make a double crochet and a double crochet here to the side. Okay, so continue like this for this second row and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Now to finish this row, we're always going to pinch here the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this row. Now for the third row and all the rows to follow, this is what we're going to do. You're going to chain three and turn and you're going to go down to the row below. Well, in this case, we have the chains and then the two double crochets. Right in the middle, we have this double crochet, so insert your hook right there and make a double crochet. And right to the side here, make another double crochet. Again, go into the next space, make a double crochet, go down to the row below and in the middle, insert your hook and make a double crochet and right here to the side, make another double crochet. And that's all we're going to do. The important thing here is that you need to turn for every row and then everything else is the same. Okay, so continue for this third row. I'll meet you once again here at the end to show you how to finish each row and then how to start each row so that you can work the rest on your own. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, remember we always pinch the third chain here at the top and we join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row and all the rows to follow, you're always going to chain three and turn. And then here we're going to go below into the middle double crochet here because we already have a double crochet here. The three chains counts as your first double crochet. So go down into the middle double crochet, make a double crochet, and then here to the side, make your third double crochet. Again, jump to the next space, make a double crochet, go down to the row below, and then the middle double crochet, make a double crochet, and right to the side, a double crochet. And this is all we're going to do from here on. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but just continue watching and I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. Remember to finish, you always join to the top here to the third chain with a slip stitch, chain three, turn. Don't forget to turn for every row. Okay, so continue watching and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of 22 rows and it's measuring from the top of this last row to the 
bottom here, it's measuring about 21 centimeters, which is about 8.25 inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to separate the back and the front. So here I have placed uh, my stitch markers. So for the back, we're going to have 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 fans. And then for the front, same thing, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And right here on the side, I have two fans and two fans here on the side. So that's a total of 30 fans all around. That's how we're going to divide this section. So here, we're going to go to this side, the front side, and we're going to work this row from the inside out because my last row here was worked on the right side. So my next row is going to be worked from the inside out. And we're going to go here to this place uh, where I have this stitch marker. If I count the fans from where I finished, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right into this space, insert your hook, chain three, one, two, three, and then go down to the row below and make your long double crochet. The three chains counts as the first double crochet. And then right next to it, make your double crochet. And then into the next space, do the same thing. You're going to work another stitch and then continue for a total of 14 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did 14 stitches. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 stitches for this first row. Now we're going to chain three and turn. And inside the next space here, we're going to work our first pattern stitch. So double crochet, go to the row below and make your long double crochet. And then right next to this one a double crochet and I'm going to do the same thing for each one of the spaces until I come here to the end of the second row I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end I have 13 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 stitches for this second row to finish pinch here the last chain right there to the side and make a double crochet now for the third row chain three and turn now here, we're going to go into the first space, which is this one here. The three chains counts as the first double crochet. So go into this space here, but go to the row below and into the second double crochet, make your long double crochet, and then right next to it, your double crochet. Jump to the next space and repeat. You're going to continue and repeat our pattern stitch until you come to the end of this third row. For this row, we're going to have 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of the third row. I have 14 pattern stitches. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now for this row, we're going to go into the first space here and make our pattern stitch. And then into each one of the spaces, repeat the same thing until you come to this last space. I'll meet you here at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have 13 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. To finish, we're going to pinch here the last chain and make a double crochet at the end. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain three. 1, 2, 3, turn and we're going to jump to the second space. We're going to skip this first one and jump to the second space and we're going to work our pattern stitch here. And then jump to the next space and repeat. You're going to do this until you come to the end of this row. So I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this fifth row. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. To finish, we're going to pinch here the last chain and make a double crochet. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. And here we're going to work our first pattern stitch right here. So I have my three chains, which counts as one double crochet. 
So now we're going to go to the row below and make our long double crochet and then into the right next to it a double crochet and then into each one of the spaces repeat the same thing until you come to the end of this sixth row. So continue and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the sixth row and I have 13 pattern stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Here we're going to work our first pattern stitch into the first space. So make a double crochet, go to the row below and make your long double crochet and then right to the side a double crochet and then do the same thing into each one of the spaces. I'll meet you at the end of the seventh row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Here at the end, I finished by making a double crochet. Now, you should have a total of, let's see, 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, for the next row, we're going to start counting rows here. So chain three and turn. We're going to begin counting rows because we're going to separate uh, here in the center. We're going to make the V part of the um, vest, so here into this first space here, go down to the row below and make your first double crochet, which is the long double crochet, right next to it another double crochet, and then into each one of these spaces I'm going to do the same thing until I come to the stitch marker. Here I marked six stitches. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, and then a stitch marker and then six for this side, so that's the center. So I'm just going to work these stitches until I come to the stitch marker like this. So that's three, four, five, Six, and then into this next space where I have a stitch marker just make a double crochet and that's what it looks like so you should have six one two three four five six and then a double crochet now for the second row chain three and turn and into this first space here we're going to make our first stitch so I have my three chains which counts as the first double crochet go down to the row below and make your long double crochet and right next to it a double crochet and then into each one of the spaces, continue and work our pattern stitch. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I finish by making a double crochet here at the end. Now for row three, chain three and turn. The three chains counts as your first double crochet. So into this space here, we're going to go to the row below and make a long double crochet and right next to it a double crochet. So here's our first pattern stitch. And I'm going to continue along until I come to this last space. Just working our pattern stitch. So that's two. Three. four, five, and six. Now make a double crochet here on top of the last double crochet, chain three, turn. Now in this fourth row we're going to skip this space here and jump to the next space and work our pattern stitch. We're going to reduce here. And then I'm going to continue and work the same stitch into each one of the spaces and let me check the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have five pattern stitches, one, two, three, four, five. And then here at the end, I finish by making a double crochet. Now for rows five, chain three and turn. Now into this first space, we're going to go down to the row below and make our long double crochet and then a double crochet right next to it. So here's our stitch. Now into each one of the spaces, I'm going to work our pattern stitch. That's two. 
into the next same thing that's three that's four and five now here we're going to reduce again now here we're going to pinch here the second chain and make a double crochet. And that's how I finished the fourth row. We have one, two, three, four, five pattern stitches. Now for row five, chain three, turn, and into this first space here, we're going to go to the row below and work a long double crochet and then a double crochet. And into the next space, work our pattern stitch and continue for the rest of this fifth row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this sixth row to finish just pinch the last chain here and make a double crochet. Now we have one, two, three, four, five pattern stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn into this first space, go down to the row below, make a long double crochet next to it, a double crochet and continue and work one stitch or your pattern stitch inside each one of the spaces. So that's two. Three. That's four. And five. Now to finish we're going to pinch here the last chain and make a double crochet. That's what it looks like. Now for row eight we're going to chain three and turn. Now we're going to skip this first space and into the next we're going to work our first pattern stitch. So in this row we're going to reduce again. So continue now and work a stitch inside each one of the spaces and I'll meet you at the end of this eighth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have four fans and here at the end I did a double crochet. Now for the ninth row, chain three and turn into this row below. Go down and work your long double crochet right next to it, a double crochet. And into the next space, work a stitch or the pattern stitch. That's two into the next. That's three and into the next, another one. So to finish this ninth row, just pinch here the second or the last chain, doesn't matter, and work a double crochet. Now for the 10th row, chain three and turn. And here we're going to work a stitch inside each one of the spaces. So beginning here, go down to the row below and work your first pattern stitch or a long double crochet and then a double crochet and into each one of the spaces, work a stitch until we finish this 10th row. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this 10th row. Here to finish, we're going to pinch here the last chain and make a double crochet. And this is how I finished the 10th row and I have four fans. Now we're going to make three more rows. So chain three and turn. Now into this first space, go down to the row below and make your long double crochet. And then next to it, a double crochet. Into each one of the spaces, work your pattern stitch. one two three four we're going to go on top of this last stitch and make a double crochet so this is row 11 now for row 12 chain three and turn we're going to skip this space we're going to jump into the next one and make our first pattern stitch Ok, 
Okay, to finish, pinch the chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is the 12th row, one, two, three fans. Now for the last row, row 13, chain three and turn. And we're going to go down to the row below and make our first double crochet, which is the long one, and then a double crochet next to it. And into each one of these spaces, our patterns do. We should finish this row now with only three pattern stitches, which I think is fine for the shoulder. To finish, just go here to this to the top of the chain and make a double crochet. And I think I'm going to leave it like this. So just cut my yarn, pass my yarn through this last loop. And here is the 13th row. So now let me show you the other side. Now we're going to go here to this other side and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to show you this next. So our first row here that we started, we started on the right side. So I'm going to have to go into this space, which is the center again, grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain three. One, two, three. Now jump to the next space and work your first pattern stitch. And I'm going to do this for each one of the spaces. That's one. Two. Three. four, five, and six. And right here where the, we have the chain, just insert your hook there and make your last double crochet. And that's the first row. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pattern stitches. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Here we're going to work the stitch inside each one of the spaces in the same way like we do beginning into this first space same thing so continue for this second row and I'll meet you here at the end right about here to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row I have six pattern stitches my last stitch I did it here into the chain three space right there now for the third row chain three and turn now in this row into each one of the spaces we're going to work our pattern stitch like this until we come to the last space that's two three four, five, and six into this last chain three space. Okay, and here's the third row. You should have six fans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now for the fourth row, chain three and turn. Now into this first space, work your first pattern stitch and you're going to do the same into each one until you come here to the end of this fourth row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have so far one, two, three, four, five pattern stitches to finish. Just pinch the chain here at the end and work a double crochet. Now for the fifth row, chain three and turn here we're going to jump to the first space and work our pattern stitch and into each one of the spaces do the same thing that's two three Four, 
four. And five. Now for row six, chain three and turn. Jump to the next space and work your pattern stitch. And into each one of the spaces, do the same thing until you come to the end of this sixth row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I'm going to work my last pattern stitch here at the end where we have these three chains. So double crochet, go down to the row below, and make your long double crochet, and then a double crochet. That's how we finish the sixth row with five fans. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now here, jump to the first space and work your first pattern stitch. And I'm going to do the same thing into each one of the spaces. So that's four, one, two, three, four, and into this last space, we're going to make our last one. And there it is. We have five pattern stitches, one, two, three, four, five. Now for the eighth row, chain three and turn, I'm going to work our first pattern stitch into the first space, and then into each one of the spaces, until I come here to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this eighth row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have four pattern stitches. Now to finish, we're going to skip this last space and we're just going to pinch this chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And that's what it looks like. Now for the ninth row, chain three and turn. So jump to the first space and make your first pattern stitch like this. So I'm just going to work one of these pattern stitches inside each one of the spaces. And I'm going to have four at the end of this ninth row. So here to make the last one, insert your hook into this chain three space, go down to the row below, make your long double crochet and right, and right to the side a double crochet. And then here is the ninth row. For row 10, chain three and turn, and you're going to work a pattern stitch inside each one of these spaces until we finish this row and you're going to end again with four of these pattern stitches. I'll meet you at the end of this 10th row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 10th row. I have four pattern stitches now for the 11th row, chain three and turn. Now we're going to jump to the first space here and make our pattern stitch. and do the same into each one of the spaces. And then into this last space, same thing. Go down to the row below and make your double crochet and then right next to it, double crochet. So here's the 11th row with four pattern stitches. Now for the 12th row, chain three and turn. Now here, jump to the first space and work your first pattern stitch all the way to the end of this row. Now here at the end, we're going to skip this last space. So just pinch the chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And here's the 12th row. We have three pattern stitches. Now for the last row, row 13, chain three and turn. 
We're going to skip this space, jump to the next one, and work your first pattern stitch. That's two and one more. That's the 13th row. I think it's perfect. It looks exactly like the other side. So now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. Leave a small tail. We're going to use this to seam this part here. So now both sides are done and that's what it looks like. So now I'm going to show you the back side. So we're going to do the back part. Now this is where we finished when we did the first row. So we started here from the inside out. This is the first um, row for the front panel. We started here and then we worked our way this way. So now we're going to come here into this space. So this is the last stitch. So if you count one, two, and into this space right there, we're going to go in and grab a loop. Chain three, one, two, three, and then go down to the row below and make a double crochet and right next to it a double crochet and that's all you're going to do for each one of the spaces you're going to work our pattern stitch and then continue all the way to this other stitch marker we're going to make a total of 14 pattern stitches so i'll meet you right about here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of the first row. For the back side, I have 14 of these stitches. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. We're going to work our pattern stitch inside each one of these spaces. So beginning into this first one, you're just going to work your first pattern stitch. And then continue and do the same thing for each one of the spaces. So continue for the second row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 13 pattern stitches now to finish. We're just going to go here on top of the third double crochet and make a double crochet. Now for this third row, chain three and turn. Beginning into this first space here, we're going to make our first pattern stitch. The three chains counts as your first double crochet, so go down below and make your long double crochet and right next to it, another double crochet. And then into each one of the spaces, you're going to work our pattern stitch. So continue like this for this third row and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. I did my last stitch here into the chain three space right there and I have 14 pattern stitches. Now for the fourth row, chain three and turn. Now into each one of these spaces, we're going to work our pattern stitch in the same way that we always do. So continue for this fourth row, make one pattern stitch inside each one of the spaces and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. To finish, we're just going to pinch the last chain here and make a double crochet. I have a total of 13 pattern stitches. Now for the fifth row, chain three and turn. Here in this row, we're going to reduce. So we're going to skip this space and into the second space here, we're going to work our first pattern stitch. This is the same thing we did for the front side. So now all you're going to do is just work your stitch inside each one of these spaces all the way to the end of this fifth row. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now to finish here, what we're going to do is we're going to skip this last space and we're going to pinch here this chain and make a double crochet. Now in this row, you should have 12 stitches. And from here on, we're just going to continue with the same thing we did here in the two rows below. We're going to work rows and you're going to alternate between having 12 stitches or like in the next row, you're going to have 13. So 12, 13, 12, 13, until we reach the same height as this part here. Uh, I think if I counted correctly, it's about 17 rows. If not, just continue watching and I'll let you know exactly how many rows you're going to do. So to start you off here for the sixth row, you're going to chain three and turn into this first space we're going to work our first pattern stitch but remember the three chains counts as the first double crochet so go down to the row below and make your second double crochet which is your long double crochet 
and then a double crochet right next to it and then inside each one of the spaces you're going to work our pattern stitch now you're going to do this all the way to the end of this sixth row here at the end you're going to make your last pattern stitch here and you're going to have 13 for this row then you're going to chain three turn and then repeat at the end of that row you're going to have 12 and then so on so here we're not going to make any more reductions as you can see this is what it looks like we just work the reductions that we did here and then from here on it's just a matter of just working rows like i said until we reach the same height as the this part here of the shoulder so continue and i'll meet you once this part here is done Okay, I'm here at the end of the 19th row now. I still need to do one more row. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this part here open without doing anything. So what I'm going to do here is just work one, two, three of these pattern stitches and then a double crochet. So to do this, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn, and into this first space, go down below and make your long double crochet and a double crochet Here's our first pattern stitch and into the next two spaces you're going to do the same thing. Now here into this last space make a double crochet, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. I think I cut mine too short but anyways it was fine. So here, one, two, three, and then the double crochet, which matches to the front panel here. One, two, three. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So we're going to turn this. Actually, no, we're not going to turn this. We're going to actually skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and into this space here, we're going to grab a loop. and chain three. One, two, three. Jump to the next space and work your pattern stitch. Into the next one, same thing. And into this last space your last pattern stitch and there we have it three which should match up to this here perfect now cut your yarn and leave a long tail because we're going to use this two seam both sides here so this part here is done now we're going to seam this so turn this to the wrong side And we're going to go here here I mentioned to leave a long tail so we already have this here so it just passes through your needle and we're going to go here now all of these stitches should match up like this exactly so we're going to go into each one to close it see like this perfect so go here on top of the first double crochet or the three chains insert your needle like this and then back again to reinforce this first stitch perfect and then go from actually my yarn is on this side so go from this side into the second stitch and then into the third stitch and into the third one on this side and then we have the first double crochet of the next pattern stitch. Find the next one here, which is the first one. And we're going to go into the next and so on. We're going to do this until this part here is closed. So make sure you match up these stitches on both sides. And then one more. The three 
chains and then the double crochet. And then just reinforce this one here by going over it again. Perfect. So now this side here is done. That's what it looks like from the inside or the right side. Now you're going to do the exact same thing here for this side. We have this yarn here that we left and you, that's what you're going to use to close it. Do it in the exact same way. So, so go ahead and do this side and I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining both sides and this is what it looks like. So now we're going to work single crochets right here in the center. So here, insert your hook right here where we have this center uh, fan stitch or this center, you know, the three double crochet. So right in the middle, insert your hook there, grab a loop like this, bring it through the front and chain one. If we don't do this, then there's going to be a gap and I want to try to close all these gaps um, with these single crochets that we're going to do. So there's my first chain now go here to the side there is no right or wrong way of doing this you're just going to have to eyeball it and make single crochet so that you are making a nice edge here the important thing is that it looks nice and that these gaps that we have here uh, no longer remain so with that said, I'm just going to try my best to show you what I'm going to do on this side. I'm just going to work single crochets right there. There's no gap here, so just work a normal single crochet along the side right there. Now, here's a gap, so I'm going to go right here. See right there, make a single crochet, and then there's still a gap there, and it looks like there's a gap there in it probably is stretched because I try to do this before and I think this part here is getting a little stretched so there I think that looks better now go here to the side right there make another one another single crochet so far so good then into this other space single crochet into the next single crochet right here to the side single crochet so this is what I'm going to do all around now here in the back I'm just going to work single crochet so it's just going to be here on the sides where you can really see these um, these holes so right along the edge where there is no gap just make a single crochet there's one here so you're going to have to go into the stitches before like right here where we did either three chains or double crochets and the point here is to make sure that it looks nice and even like I said there's no right or wrong way of doing this you just do it where you think it'll look good and to me I think this is looking pretty good let's see yes a lot better so this is all I'm going to do for this part here. Then I'm going to work single crochets along this part here and then work my way down in the same way. So continue and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished making this other side here along the back. All I did was just make single crochets and I think it looks a lot better than how it was originally. Um, the way that I had recorded this part here, I didn't like because there were gaps here, but I think I like the way that this looks now. So you're going to continue with the uh, single crochets around the sleeve. I already did mine. This is just another recording that I did of this part here since I didn't like the first uh, time that I showed you. So continue watching, finish the rest of the vest, and then I'll come back and show you the finished vest. Now we're going to go here to this side and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start here in this corner, right here, right there, which is the double crochet here of this um, pattern stitch. So just ins insert your hook there into that corner, chain one. And now into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now jump to the next stitch, which is the next double crochet, and work a single crochet. So here we're just going to do these six because we have three and three. And now just jump here to this side. 
This is a double crochet, so do two single crochets. And then this one here is a chain, so do one, and then two, and then one, two, one, two, one, and so on. Two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, and then one for this last row. Now jump to this other side, and it's probably going to be two now. One, two, then one, and then two, and so on. You get the point. There's no right or wrong way of doing this just so that it looks, the important thing is that it looks nice. So continue all around, this is what it looks like. And once you're, you're done here, you're just going to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop. And then you're going to do this other side here. You're going to do it in the exact same way. Okay, so continue and do both sides and then I'll come back and show you our finished vest. Okay, I finished making this other side and this is what it looks like. So now my vest is done and this is what it looks like. I love the way that this stitch looks. It's so beautiful and it's got so much texture. Now, let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the shoulder down to the end here, it's measuring about 37.5 centimeters, which is about 14.5 inches around this part here, the chest. It's measuring about 56 centimeters, which is about 22 inches. And the sleeve opening, it's measuring about 16.5 centimeters, which is about 6.5 inches. So based on these measurements, this little vest here is for little boys between one and two years old or 12 to 24 months. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger, down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller from six months or bigger up to five years old. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.